Hey, how's it going guys? It is Lasty here and welcome to another Fuckwiz player review. Today we've got an absolutely massive one. It's going to be the 93 rated Lionel Messi here on Fut 17. The Argentine winger who plays for Barcelona has been rated 93 this year. He's got 89 pace, 96 dribbling, 90 shooting and 86 passing. He is of course 5 foot 7 with the medium medium work rates left footed on that right hand side with the nice 4 star skills and weak foots. He also has bright blonde hair on Fut 17 so really stands out on the pitch. Now a great option for a squad around Lionel Messi would be this 4-3-3 fourth variant hybrid. It features players from the Premier League, La Liga and the Serie A as well. Standout players in this team would be Hugo Lloris, James Rodriguez and of course Gonzalo Higuain up front. So looking at the in-game stats for Messi without any chemistry boosts at all, he has 93 attack positioning, 97 dribbling and 95 finishing. Play this guy in a full chem team with a basic chemistry style and his stats will be boosted. Ruin from Footwiz decided to go with the finisher chemistry style as an option for Lionel Messi as it boosts his shooting stat and his physicality. This chem style boosts Messi's strength to 69, he also gets 98 shots power, 99 long shots and 99 finishing. Okay, let's talk pros and cons about Messi and as always we'll start with the negatives first. Oddly enough for the Argentine, his pace in game didn't quite seem to cut it compared to what his on item stats would suggest. Ruin mentioned that Messi, although being a quick player, just didn't quite feel like an 89 pace player in game. And also, the obvious one, Messi is a relatively weak player on FIFA 17. Of course, the main reason for applying the finisher chemistry style was to give him a plus 10 strength boost to help in that area. But even doing so, Messi's never going to be the type of player that holds off defenders well. Luckily for the Barca winger though, he does possess a lot of positive traits. Firstly, his dribbling. He's absolutely fantastic. Weaving in and out of players like it's nothing. The ball is just glued to this player's foot. Even without chemistry boosts, he possesses 95 ball control and 97 dribbling, and that just tells you all you need to know about Messi. Messi's also a great team player on FIFA 17. He's going to create goals as well as score them himself. His short passing, threaded through balls, and crossing in particular are highlight areas. The next positive on Messi's list is his weak foot. It's good to know that this year Messi doesn't have to necessarily chop inside to get on that stronger left foot. You can quite comfortably take a shot with his weaker right. And by far, the best part about Leo Messi this year is his ability to take long shots, particularly distance finesse shots. As you can see from a lot of the clips here, although getting onto that strong foot is not a necessity, it will give you a huge advantage and an extremely high chance of scoring a goal. It seems as though anywhere from 25 yards or closer, if you can cut inside and get on that left foot, hit the finesse shot and you're likely to find the far corner. So there you have it, one of the most elite players on FIFA 17 Ultimate Team has been reviewed. A very tricky dribbler, a fantastic team player and a deadly goal scorer all wrapped up into one blonde haired package. Lionel Messi is fantastic once again on FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. Pick him up now on the market or try him out in the foot draft game mode and let me know how you get on with him. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you next time. Peace.